We have made it. Yay. Got a little bit lost. Not gonna lie. You just see him on the surface. Oh, that's a Mackie. Watch out, ooh, get him out, get him out, get him out. Get him. Well, good morning and greetings from McGowan's Island Beach Camp, just north of Columbaroo on the Gibb River Road. So it took us quite a while to get here and we are probably in one of the most remote parts of Australia um, we've ever been and possibly ever will be. This is really all the way out there. This place is really renowned for its fishing. We uh, slept with the front window open on the van last night and uh, the tide come all the way up and uh, washed all the way out and all night you can just hear fish and action just going you know, just the water is alive here. So just this morning, we're taking a little walk out to the point, um, watching the sun come up and the uh, color on this mountain range behind us is just sensational. So it's pretty glassy at the moment and Derek and I are gonna put the boat in a little bit later on and uh, go out and try our luck and see if we can catch some fish. So yeah, we're off to a good start up here and uh, it's been well worth the drive so far, just experiencing this remote part of Australia um, in the morning because it is incredibly peaceful. That beautiful sunrise this morning. Big Derek's been kind enough to take us out on the boat. We've got both the lures in and uh, we're having a bit of a troll, hoping for some good fish today. You said the water is 27, 27 degrees. 27 degrees up here. 27 degrees in this bay here. The water is literally warmer than the ambient air temperature at the moment. <laughs> and uh, it's glassing off. So we've got a few hours of trolling and uh, having a bit of a look around and hopefully the fish are biting. Got a good feel about this one, Derek. Sounds a lot better, mate. Well, I have got pretty light light line on. And she's not giving me much more fight now. Oh, it's good to hear that line scream oh, off, though. Mate. That sound never gets old, does no. it? No. Uh, I'm not getting any colour yet. Oh, it's a shit. Oh, it's a Mackie. Is it? It's a Mackie, bro. It's a big one. Derek, get that yeah, Freddy, brother. Got it, mate. They'll bring it up alongside the bin bag. Motor's in neutral. Watch the sharks. Oh, oh bro. Yeah, it's boys. big. It's big. Yeah, 
All right. Try and um, keep him around that side. Yeah, mate, we're on it here. That's a Mackie. Gets to the boat, it has another run. Look at the sounder from your line, it's absolutely lit up. Oh, no, get her off that ring. It's all right, don't panic. So I watch the sharks. Now, I've never used one of these before, Brad. I'd just like to let you know, but I've got one, right? In that hole, right? Wow. Spot on. Two meter deep. I'll be changing mine up. Brad's the lucky charm of the boat. We're, hey, um, we're on a Mackie here. Throw that two meter on. We just got to look at him. He's good size. If it's a Spanish, definitely yeah. over 900. Yeah. He's come to the boat. He's had a run. So that's generally what they do, I believe. And we're um, spot on this this big hole here. So couldn't come all the way up here and not catch one, could we? No. Oh. <laughs> what do they say? We bend him, baby. Look at that bend. How about Woo! that bend? Well, well, look out. He's actually literally pulling the boat around. Mate, he's a good size, and he just screamed off, didn't he? Like you wouldn't believe. The, se the sound of a screaming reel never gets old. Nah. I love that. I love that. Oh, and it's just so good. It oh, no. No, shark. Oh, no. I think he might be. Yeah? Get shark. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, he's been oh, shot. No. Bink, that Look is massive, size mate. of a dairy. Watch out. Oh, get him out. Watch out. Oh, get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Oh, dairy. Oh, mate. Oh, <gasps> the that thing. Oh, no, mate. We can still get a fillet off that. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. That would have been a massive shark, mate. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, right. I'll get a fight. He's not got here. any kick. He's got not got any kick. Oh my god. And that's a good size Mackie, mate. Shit. Oh, plenty of sharks around the motor. I'm gonna just get us out of here quick. Oh, they're going for the motor again. Look at that. Oh mate, I'm so sorry. That's but... amazing though. They're out here, Derek. That's massive, We've still got Mackie. some massive fillets there. I think I was d***ing around a little bit too much and I got a little bit too complacent with the sharks. I was trying not to snap it off and I knew it was a mackerel. I should have, next one, we're just gonna lock it up and bring it in because um, we can't be afford, we can't afford to lose a fish of that yeah. size up here. <laughs> that's right. just, mate, that's already made the trip up here worth it for me. Now we just got to get Derek on the one. What size do you make? Oh, I think it's, I think it's off. Just had a run on it. We got something. No, you're on, mate. Jesus. Yeah, I'm not much in about. Nah, um, this one's coming in, Derek. Yeah, I've got my line in, all right. I'm gonna go and fish it. Yeah, you want me to go and fish it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna go, yep. I'm gonna go and fetch it. Yep. Real, real, yep. real. Yep. Where's that gap? Uh, just in front of me here. Yeah. All right. Don't worry. Just, just watch the star. Cool too, so you just gotta be with me. Keep it, keep it going. Yeah, he's underneath us now. Yeah, see you going, mate. See you going. <laughs> Yeah, you just gotta get that hook underneath his belly and just lift up on it. That's it, right there. Oh, there it is, bro. There it is. It is for all. Oh, that's a big fish. It's a big fish, mate. Jeez, I've got heaps of colour then. All right, come up, baby. Love come on. Lady. You know what's up? I'm trying to get around. Like oh. oh! That's 15 kilo mackerel. We just uh, got onto another good mackerel. 
we found the spot where they're hanging around. This one was just as big as the last one. Really put the heat on it, got it right up. Just putting too much pressure on the line. I've only got like 50 pound mono, so it just snapped as you saw. And uh, we lost a big fish there, but Derek's on, the, Derek's on the run again. Hopefully, fingers crossed we can land one of these monster fish whole. Heaps of bait fish. I don't want to have something on here. Huh? Feels really heavy. Might be onto something. I've been hooked up this whole time. Can't be. There's weight on it. <laughs> You've just been tying around a fish for me. It's not big. It might be a shark. Bro, is that a Mackie? Oh my god, it's a queenie. Queenie. Oh jeez. I think I'm tangled up on you. Alright, hang on a minute. I think... Yeah, that's it. Massive that's it. queenie, mate. Look at the queenie. Mate, you've been tying that around for a while. What I just like this. On? There's just dead weight on my line. Look at this. Now you're all absolutely killing me here today. Big queenie. Oy! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, how do we get that in the boat now? We can get him in. Um, I can. Do you want to? Do next. you want to grab onto the? Do you want to hold the rod and I'll grab yeah. it by the tail? Hang on, let me just get. You sit down there. All right, mate. Bring him up. You should be quite tired. If you've, yeah. You've been yeah. Dragging him around. Yeah. Get him by the boat. Wait, hang on. Let me get out of gear. Out of gear. Yeah. Jumped in the boat here, mate. Yeah, one, two, uh, up and over. You got him? Yeah. Oh, oh, mate! <laughs> You're killing me today! <laughs> you oh. joking! What is going on here? He's well, truly. Oh, truly hooked. So God knows how long that queenie was on there for, but got him in and got the hooks out of him and put him back in the drink. But I think I'm going to call it good there for, for myself today. I've had a bloody blast, caught two Mackies, lost one and a half Mackies, caught a queenie and released him. And um, <laughs> like, that's all I need. Like, oh, that's, a, that's the biggest fish that I've ever had on a line in my life. So I'm going to retire early and play decky for Derek and we're going to get him onto a one and a half metre Spanish, I reckon. Oh, but you have to tune into his video to see that. <laughs> Let's go, Diz. Come on. I'm got it. Oh, holy dooly. Yeah. Two of these. We lost one to a sh That is crazy. Look at that. Still a lot of meat there. We got these chompers on it. This is a, I don't know if I can. Ow. All right, so after an epic morning of fishing out there on the boat, um, we have a major, major issue. Columbaroo has run out of fuel. All yes. fuel. No diesel. No one loaded. No fuel. And like, it just goes to show how remote we are right now. Like the nearest town is Columbaroo. It doesn't, it has very limited services and it's not the normal services that you would see yeah, it's in like run any by other volunteers. Rem remote town. And here's the issue. So they've got no fuel. Yep. We can't make it back to the next back place to Drysdale. that has fuel. Yeah. And like, especially Brad and I, we're going to go from here out to King Edward and Mitchell Falls, which is like a big couple yeah. day detour, but we can't get fuel. Yeah. So, I don't know. We're trying to brainstorm our. When's fuel due in? Well, that this is the thing. <laughs> the next shipment of fuel here to Columbaroo comes up by a tanker, and it's going to be enough for them to last the whole wet season. This place is only open for three more weeks, and it's all done. So, they're waiting on that tanker to come, which it could come tomorrow. It could come in a week's time. Well, they've said it's due on Friday. Yeah. So today's Monday. Yeah, today's Monday, and just because it comes on Friday. Friday they said it takes two days for them to pump it and uh, like a day for the, the sediment and stuff to settle to the bottom of the tank. So, so really we're not looking at being able to get that fuel until yeah. next Monday, like so a week's time. Potentially we are stuck here for a week, but 
we're going to try and put our heads together and try and figure out a solution because I'm sure there's a, a way that we can go around this but it just goes to show how remote we actually are it's yeah. uh, even we underestimated how remote this place yeah, would like be. Yeah like to give more perspective on how remote it is that Columbo fuel when they do have fuel they only open on a Wednesday and a Saturday for two hours at a time and that's the only time you can actually buy fuel from them so we were thinking originally that we were going to wait until Wednesday to get fuel and then we could take off take off didn't factor in that they'd not have fuel mm. but even like the camp host here was saying this morning that they get their groceries barged in from Darwin like yep. that is crazy I've never been so remote in my life no and we probably never will be no. and if we do come back to Columbaroo or go to a more remote place we'll definitely be way more prepared for fuel because it seemed like a bit of an inconvenience to have a 20 litre jerry of diesel just um, hanging around like we've got we've got a fair bit of fuel we carry yeah, 180 litres yeah. of fuel and uh we're cutting it fine to get back so yeah we've got a bit of uh got to put our heads together and uh hopefully scrounge up some diesel and some unleaded so yeah hopefully we can put our heads together and uh come up with a plan <laughs> slaving away on dinner we've got the uh, McGowan Beach day spa going on a couple of freak shows <laughs> Sue's got the panda mask night spa mesh <laughs> we're just we got our cups of tea Maybe. our masks you guys have been here for too long you're getting way too comfortable <laughs> dinner's almost finished so you, mate. mate you've got a bit going on hey okay, got bulk going on here bit of red curry happening away just bubble up bit mate. of fresh mackie I'll tell you what, viewers, I'm right in. That smells absolutely fantastic. I'm pretty handy. Where did you manage to source all this ingredients out here, mate? <laughs> no, it looks There's good, a bit of everything in there. Looks and smells. After a pretty unsuccessful morning on the boat with Derek this morning trying to get another mackerel, uh, the weather's still holding on for us pretty good right now. So we're going to take the opportunity and give Patsy a go on the boat rather than hanging around the hot caravan while the boys go out and have all the fun. I'm so, so excited to go on the boat. Now, Patsy is my little good luck charm, so hopefully she can turn things around for us today. <laughs> That's a good sign. Birds are working. You just see him on the surface. Oh, that's a Mackie! That's it, lift it up. Yeah, set the horse. Oh, oh no! She's on, I think. Lift it up, lift the tip up. Is it weight there? Keep pulling. I heard it run. Not be on anymore. Uh, it doesn't sound like there's much left. Could be a shark again. Go on, Patsy, what is with this? Well, after two boat trips this morning, firstly with Brad and Derek, and then me and Brad Zoe afterwards, the boat is fully out of fuel, including the fuel that we bought off the camp post yesterday. Yeah. So, without a boat, up here there's not really anything to do so we're going to try and leave tomorrow now the diesel is still a situation however i was doing some intensive calculations yesterday and the issue is that brad and i are detouring for detouring from here out to mitchell falls whereas derek and sue aren't doing that and they're just going to drysdale and then we're going to meet back up at drysdale now yeah. according to my calculations, we should just have enough fuel to get out to Mitchell Falls and back to Drysdale. However, Derek and Sue will have just not enough fuel to get to Drysdale. Yeah. And we're a collective, we're a team. We're yeah. not gonna leave them here because the fuel could come in five days or it could come in 10 days and we're not leaving them here stranded with no fuel. Yeah. So. We think the plan is for us to both head back to the turn off to Mitchell Falls. Tomorrow. And recalculate how much fuel we've got see if they've got enough to get back to Drysdale if not calculate to see if we can get out to Mitchell Falls and back um, 
and be, be able to spare some to um, give them an extra 10 or 15 litres so that they can make it back to Drysdale. So, and I think with my calculations that we should have 20 litres spare. Yeah. I think Derek needs <laughs> just over 10. So if we can transfer 10 of our litres into his yeah, and with a bit of fuel conserving tomorrow. A bit of fuel conserving, yeah, we're going to run out of here with no water in the setup. We're going to like try and be as light as possible. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, Derek was even talking about not running the air con in the car. Mm. That's that's going to be a bit painful. Yeah, especially <laughs> so when it's 35 hot. degrees. So. I feel like um, we're in the V8 supercars. Like, you know how at the end of their races, they're like yeah. conserving fuel and doing all the fuel strategies. That's what it feels a bit like at the moment. But yeah, anyway, that's what we got to do. the plan for tomorrow. Yeah. And then tonight is our last night here. So we're going to have a fire. Enjoy another bloody cracking sunset. They've all been so amazing. Easily the here. best sunset that I've witnessed, especially in yeah. WA, is um, up this top end, the way the sun yeah. just turns this reddish glow, it's um, it's amazing, so. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. We'll enjoy the campsite for one <laughs> last night. <laughs> You're right, mate. And then we'll uh, hit the road early again tomorrow, so, yeah. yeah. All right, should be a good night. We used to be friends, that was way back when. You and I, we were so burned G'day guys, we're just interrupting this episode to share with you something we've been working on for quite some time, our 2024 calendar. So we've compiled the best photos that we've taken during our past year of travel and we've put them all into this 2024 calendar. We've been working on this for a while now and we've finally got our hands on them. We're super stoked with how they turned out. Yeah, so if you want to support the channel, um, you can head over to our website. They're live now. They're $24.99, shipped anywhere in Australia. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to the video. <laughs> Everything's worked out well. We've just so happened to pull up um, on a car that was in the middle of the road that had a flat battery. We're the only ones that had jumper leads, so we, we jumped them. And uh, they, we noticed they had some jerry cans in the back of their ute. So <laughs> Derek swindled himself 20 litres of fuel for, fit, for 100 bucks. And uh, we're going to be right now. Take it easy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, so we're all right, we're in business. That's where we finish following Derek and Sue's dust trail. So we're going to head out to Mitchell Falls tomorrow morning and check all that out and all going well. We'll come back and pick up the van from Edward River where we're staying tonight and I'll meet those guys back down at Drysdale. But yeah, let's do another little offshoot of the Gibb River Road, Patsy. start this morning at 6.45 and we're leaving the King Edward campground to head out to Mitchell Falls. Apparently it's about a two hour drive out there and that drive out there is one of the worst roads apparently in Australia. We keep being told that but this one apparently is really bad. So yeah that's why we leave 
you leave the caravan at King, King Edward and then just take the drive um, in the ute out to Mitchell Falls. We don't really know how long today's gonna take because I don't know, there's helicopters and everything up there that can take you up and down to the falls. We're on a budget, so we're not gonna do the helicopter, but that means that we have to walk all the way up and all the way back, which we're fit and healthy, so we're fine with that. Uh, but yeah, time-wise, I don't know if we'll make it back to Drysdale Station today, but we'll try and yeah, see how we go. If anything is to go by yesterday as well, it's gonna be bloody hot out there today. So it was unbearably hot when we got to camp yesterday afternoon. We didn't film anything, we just like went and sat in the creek and just let the water wash over us for like an hour. It was unbearable. But <laughs> this morning we're starting off 17 degrees. It's bloody beautiful, the temperature right now. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. So but uh, that temperature is probably gonna double in the next few hours. So hopefully get out there, get the walk done and um, yeah, enjoy the sights of Mitchell Falls. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but this is what we're dealing with in terms of corrugations. Not too bad. Actually has the top knocked off it quite a bit. I think they might have run a, a uh, group of tires through or maybe they even just run a grader through to just skim the top off them. But yeah, it's pretty good going this morning. have arrived at Mitchell Falls. We've already heard some choppers going. Um, yeah, keen to check it out. So we started here, then short walk to here where we are now. And now we've got all of this to go to the falls. And then we've got to walk all the way back. It's gonna be a big day. Got a little bit lost, not gonna lie. <laughs> we, um, we were following these posts the whole way along and then they just disappeared. So I don't know whether we missed one or uh, what happened, but we'll uh, try and whack through these bushes and find the trail again, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, we're, like, we're on top of Mitchell Falls right now. Yeah, we just can't... this is the top, but we don't know how to get <laughs> Yeah, this isn't like the, the vantage point areas. lookout. So yeah, we're gonna do a bit of bush bashing and hopefully, um, it's not too long before we pop out at the lookout and get the whole Mitchell Falls experience. Getting close, brother. Woohoo! Look at that! Yes! We have made it! Yay. Holy smokes, that is gorgeous! I love that there's so many levels of pools. It looks amazing down there. Look at us go. Four kilometers in the scorching heat of the Kimberleys. We made it to Mitchell Falls. Probably one of the most nice. remote waterfalls in Australia. Oh baby. You actually can't swim down here in this bottom pool because saltwater crocodiles do actually make their way up here. But we're gonna take this in for a bit and then head back up to the top of the falls and uh, go for a nice swim up there, but that's spectacular. Yeah. Well, after a quick little pit stop at the lookout, uh, we spent about 20 or 30 minutes there, but we have to get on the move because because things are really heating up now. It's um, it's almost 11 o'clock and um, 
yeah it must be 35 degrees right now because it is super hot super dry we're gonna have a quick cool off in the pools before uh, trekking the 4k's back but definitely um, a word of warning make sure you pack plenty of water we've got a, about three liters of water with us and uh, we're going through it at a rate of knots right now so yeah it's no joke this um this hike gonna lie this walk has been kicking our butts a fair bit we've got about 700 meters to go till we get back to the car so we're just taking one last cool off here at the little martin's pools and um then we can get in the air conditioner Whew. no no joke this heat i've never been so happy to see the cruise off how was that mate we need icy poles yes. asap let's get in the shade have a quick debrief Mitchell Falls really made us work for it and we are cactus right now. Well, good. I think that's the most difficult hike we've done, not in terms of the track being difficult, just with how hot it is. Yeah. And it's the middle of the day now and it was long. Yeah, it was long. And now um, we're just gonna have a quick lunch here, rehydrate and uh, <laughs> make the, we've got about a four hour drive ahead of us to get back to Drysdale <laughs> Station. So run back to King Edward, pick up, pick up the caravan, and when we get to Drysdale, we'll There's have- a couple of big juicy burgers waiting for us there. That's the motivation for today. That was a big motivation. <laughs> but I really enjoyed that hike. I, like, I'm definitely glad that I did it and it was totally worthwhile, but I wouldn't do it again with just you and me now that we've done it. Yeah. But I reckon like if we had kids one day and we we're doing the Gib River Road with them, I'd definitely do it. But then I'd do the helicopter because I yeah. would not expect kids to do that both ways. No. And and uh, I reckon if we were carrying an extra litre of water per person, if we had carried four litres, that would have been way better. But you live and you learn. <laughs> Let's get these icy poles. Massive day. day. Put in the hours driving, we put in the hours walking. We had a, re a really cool experience today also. Like it's like going to Mitchell Falls. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did go to Mitchell Falls today. Like a, a today feels like, yeah, today feels like we did three days worth of stuff. <laughs> but um, we made it to Drysdale safe and sound, right in time for the uh, bistro to open or the beer garden to open. So we're gonna wander over there, have a uh, nice cold drink, some refreshments. This place is literally, I know, I think I said it in last episode, that this place is an oasis. It is seriously so good. So, so we're we'll, coming down that driveway again. Oh, I what, know. What was in store there's for us like, here. Yeah, there's, there's really good food and uh, cold drinks to be had because we haven't had a lot of that. We haven't no. had a lot of conveniences. Yeah, show how dirty the van is. Oh yeah, the van is a bit of a mess. The uh, red dirt's really starting to accumulate. <laughs> I can't even, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty bad. Ew. <laughs> so yeah, we'll sign off for the night and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow when we uh, head down to the Gib River rest area, which is a camp that we've been looking forward to this whole trip. So, mm -hmm. all right, night night. All right, we've got a bit going on. Our fridge is a three-way and it's been working because we have fridge fans on it um, and it's been keeping everything cold, but we realized that we're going through gas at a rate of knots. We've been on the gib for two weeks and we're pretty much out of our two gas bottles. And the nearest gas is El Questro, yeah. which is like how long? About four hours drive. About a four hour drive. So 
to save Brad doing a four hour drive today to go and top up the gas, Derek and Sue have kindly offered for us to switch off our fridge and transfer stuff into their fridge so that we can switch our fridge off, hopefully conserve the little amount of gas that we have left for cooking and see if that gets us by. Bit of a pain in the bum, eh? So the last 24 hours has not been our best. Started with the walk yesterday, that was good, but it almost broke us. I literally almost cried at one point because it was so hot. And then after six hours of driving, we pretty much run out of gas. All of our food is in Derek and Sue's van. And yeah, it's just, it's a bit going on. <laughs> We're gonna turn it all around though. Because look at where we are. We're at the bloody Gib River free camp. We've got river frontage. We've got arguably the best site in this whole campground just by pure luck. So that is a win for today. And uh, let's go and have a look at the water. <laughs> I am into a beer now as well, so spirits are starting to get lifted. <laughs> you going in? Straight away. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't know it was deep enough Ooh. here. It's gorgeous. How oh, good is that? Straight from the van into the water. Alright. See you later. Bye bye. We have. We've, turned you, it, I'll be we've done a complete oh. As an outsider, you've turned. This morning I was a bit you know, miserable. She was like Just an saying. old um, 60 series on a cold start. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys have come out, look at you, smiling again. <laughs> We're all a team. We yep. worked together. Had a good swim. Mate, yeah. we're about to have a oh, we have absolutely have a fantastic feed. <laughs> feed here on the side of a creek in the middle of absolutely nowhere. I mean, you can't, you can't get better than that. It's someone called no. Barry. This is it. see here in front of me, Derek has got his little tripod going, got the garlic butter and we've got the tomahawks out and we're hanging them and slow roasting them over the coals. It already smells fantastic and looks fantastic. Alright team, the steaks are done, but uh, here's a bit of a reveal. I reckon we've done all right. Oh, all the mate. blood. Oh, Derek. Go all the way through that and peel that open for me, please. Please. Oh, mate, oh, he's done it. Like he's you. done it. Oh, <laughs> I did a thing, I did a thing. Oh, that looks Dude, so good. Look at that. And that is, seriously. Look at that. That is perfection. Oh. That's restaurant grade right there. We are eating like kings tonight. <laughs> that is so That's good, so eh? good I've mate. done a thing. That looks amazing. Alright, well, All right. guys, guys it's hard to eat. we're going to sign out for the night and uh, trust me, I'm going to bed with a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Derek. Yeah. And thank Yay. you, Sue, for the garlic butter. It's thank amazing. You, Careful, you're blind and everyone, mate. Alright, <laughs> nighty night. <laughs>